Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. Robert Rambles here and thank you for joining me today. We are going to run over here to slay Dark Ranger Fiala. Not very far, but let's sprint because we can. Okay, so let's just go ahead and tag her. Uh, maybe we deal with the foot soldier first. Invalid, invalid target. Why in the actual fuck is it showing up as an invalid target? You guys are seeing this, right? I am going to try to go ahead and tag her with our staff. And we're just going to regrowth ourselves and hope that we live through whatever's happening. Okay. We lived through whatever was happening. Void tendrils. Okay. That was very unusual and I don't like it. Now I'm worried about our abilities working, except we know that regrowth was working fine, but it was just giving us invalid target for those other guys. Very strange. What a way to log in. Welcome to World of Warcraft retail. Bugs and all. What now? We'll get a Dark Ranger's vest. And a giant ass earthquake. Which was Deathwing causing the entire cataclysm. So, what in the world was that? Those were not cannons or catapults, that is for sure. Go outside and see what is going on. Yeah, it's called the cataclysm. It happened in like 2010? The land gave way from under our feet. I thought I was dead. I owe you one. Yeah, so, you know, the world just got reshaped, basically. And it's how we end up with the Azeroth of the old world that we have today, is what happened. The events of the Cataclysm forever reshaped the land uh, in irrevocable ways. So that's the world we still inhabit today. Whenever we are on Azeroth, we are in post-Cataclysm Azeroth, as it was in 2010. Or whenever Cataclysm actually launched, guys, fact check me. Okay, let's head down and grab this quest. You notice how, unlike Classic, the quests appear on our mini-map, both, you know, before we take them and after we complete them. A lot of differences. Okay, it would help if we actually grabbed it to begin with, instead of just getting all excited and running out here like idiots. For my people. The ocean it swallowed everything. The land, the Forsaken, our men. Yeah, it's a shit show. You see that lag, guys? That lag is not me. That is the lagginess uh, of World of Warcraft. Retail. And there's a lot of theories about why it's so laggy these days. And I won't get any, into any of those. There are plenty of videos you could watch. Let's see. I was on my way when it happened. No time to waste. A good half of the town watch was in the area that collapsed. Get in there and save as many as you can. Make sure to get them out of the water and onto the shore. I'll make sure they get any aid they need. So, rescue the troops that we can. Again, there's quite a bit of latency. And it's not on our end. Just saying. I uh, happen to be blessed to live in downtown Kansas City, Missouri. And we have a Google Fiber down here. So, you know. 1,000 megabits? Yeah. The lag is not me. But you can see that there is, in fact, some sort of substantial lag happening server-side. Let's bear with it, shall we? We click him and then eventually he gets onto our shoulders and we carry him out. How they're talking to us underwater? Maybe that was after we pulled him out. Okay, let's see. This guy has anything to say. 
Oh, we can drop him any time now. Very interesting. No time for dallying. You'll notice this guy is still, he's very clingy for someone we're supposed to just rescue and drop off on the shore. I am going to try to re-log, uh, just to make sure this isn't me. I'll restart everything and we'll uh, come back. Hopefully with a hundred million percent less lag. Alright, let's see if maybe a day later the lag is gone. Seems questionable. This is a full, like, day later between that cut and now. There we go, that's a little bit more responsive than what we had been seeing previously. So let's keep at it. You'd think it'd be simple, just rescue four of them, but... Server lag makes simple things impossible tasks. It's working much better today. The game is working much better today. For my people. Uh, we don't really need either of these. We'll take the mana potion. We've escaped death through dumb luck, but luck is running out. The coast is becoming flooded even as we speak. From the look of it, the landmass beneath us hasn't quite settled yet. I hate to say this, but we have to leave. Curses. I cannot lose my homeland twice in one lifetime. Yet these earthquakes are not an enemy we can defeat. Tell Gwen Armstead to start the evacuation. Okay, so we're piecing out. Apparently the cataclysm has made it impossible for us to live here? Seems okay, but... Maybe it's not. I mean, the landmass has already been reordered. It is what it is right now. I don't think it's going to change anymore, but he seems to think that uh, it could still fall off into the ocean. So let's go get ready for the evacuation, shall we? I'm sure this will go just fine. More earthquakes. Gentlemen. Get Gavin or get going. She's got a horse now. What's your story? Liam is right. We must get everyone to higher ground. You must help me spread the word while I manage the logistics of the evacuation. Uh, and by spread the word, you mean do three quests for you. Grandma Wall. It's not going to be easy to get Grandma Wall to come with us. You must do whatever you can to convince her, though. You'll find her at the Wall Cottage. Do not lose your patience with her. Her mind is, as ol is old and she's not entirely lucid. Okay. The Crowley Orchard. Of course you remember Lord Darius Crowley's daughter, Lorna. She never quite recovered after losing her father in Gilneas City. She's basically led the life of a hermit. The only visitor she's allowed into her house has been Crennan, and he won't say a word about the whole thing. Send word to her about the evacuation. And then the Hay the Hayward Brothers. The Hayward Fishery can be found far to the south. The Hayward Brothers have been running it for years. They don't make it to town very often, except to trade their fish. Send word to them that the evacuation is underway. Okay. So... We're still getting lag, also. I'll point that out. Long live Grey Mane. And so go run around and tell everyone that we're leaving. That's not hard at all. Let's just go do a little bit of running around, shall we? I'm hoping that they don't each have follow-ups, though, which they probably will. Uh, here's what Lorna Crowley. Doesn't recognize us. Listen, we're not going to make it very far without transportation, are we? If we just hightail it out of here, the Forsaken will catch up to us in no time at all. Rounding up some horses from the stable grounds northeast of here would normally be a breeze, but there's one snag. That last quake must have spooked Koroth, the Eden down from the mountains. If we don't get our horses soon, I fear that he will. 
All right, she wants us to go catch some horses nearby. I don't see that's going to be very difficult. We can see exactly where the horses are going to be at. Some foxes around. I guess we just have to ride these back to her. Is that what we're doing? Let's find out, shall we? I don't really know where she would want us to put a horse. She just wants them brought back to her. We can do that. But we'll, although we have to do it five different times, so... It could get a little boring, but... There's the uh, giant Etten, Koroth. We don't want to be fighting him because he's a massive elite. Who would probably kill us in one hit. I love the aesthetics in this area. I wish the things we were doing were a little bit more exciting. Two more. I guess there's not really a way to make rounding up horses very interesting. Which begs the question, why did they create a quest where the job was to round up five horses? Because, like, immediately when I think about that objective, the first thing that comes to mind is that there's no way to make that fun. And if that's my initial, like, reaction, then I probably, if I'm a writer or a quest designer, I probably just don't put that quest in the game. But here we are, and we're going to gather up our fifth horse. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. It wouldn't be exciting if we didn't aggro the elite and then run away on a stolen horse, right? That made it a little better. And he's dropped aggro, so we're good. Alright, that's 5 out of 5. Let's turn this in and move on to somebody who also needs help. Oh, shapeshifting! As a druid, you can shapeshift into different forms, each with unique abilities and their own resource. Your first form, Cat, increases your melee damage. What level are we? We're only level 8. For some reason, I didn't think we got any of our forms until much later, which does show me, though, that my action bars aren't how I would prefer them. Always show. Why is it not actually always showing them, though? Oh. That's right. Uh, so, classic and retail are different. I want my bars stacked vertically. What in the actual hell? Okay, they're not giving me like the same options that I actually want. All they're letting me do is make it like this full action bar. I want my action bars back above here, but I'll have to figure that out at a later time, apparently. Uh, the user interface is more different than I remember it being. Alright, let's get on with things, shall we? This is going to be the grandmother who we're supposed to have patience for. I mean, we have enough patience to go out and collect five horses, so we should be good on patience. Oh good, enemies to fight. And today we, today we can actually sort of target them and attack them. That's a big change from yesterday, when everyone was an invalid target for our abilities. It made it kind of hard to play the game at all. Uh, let's not fight too many of them, she might want us to clear them out or something. Oh yeah, she Thank looks really, one. really ancient. And by ancient, I mean no. She looks like she's like 48. Give me a break. Leave now? Well, if I must, then I must. But you will be a sweetheart and find something for me? I've lost my favorite book and I won't leave without it. After you explain the gravity of the situation, Grandma Wall shakes her head condescendingly. Dear, just find the book, will you? <laughs> Watch your back. It's like the quest writers don't even take it seriously. 
Yeah, we'll find your favorite book out in this blue circled area outside. So we don't really have to look for anything. We don't really have to learn or investigate anything. All we have to do is run to the markers on the map. Let's go cat. So this is our cat form. Actually, uh, pretty cool. You know, you might ask, how does a worgen get a cat form? Well, they become a druid. And then you might say, well, Robert, the humans that they originally were couldn't become druids. Why can they become druids now that they're worgen? And the answer to that is, well, they have fur as worgen, so therefore they can be druids. Here's the book. Well, that's not accurate at all, but my action bars are locked. I don't want that either. All right, uh, we don't have a lot of abilities with this yet. Let's do something like so. What can I do for you? All right, now she wants us to do something else. I can't wear this. What was it you wanted again? Oh right, the evacuation orders. Well, I can't be expected to go out in public like this, can I? Go get my good clothes. They're on the coastline, or the clothesline right outside. Are you Farewell. Are you actually serious about this? We're literally fetching her laundry. I get it because there's like enemies out here. But, come on. Really? We're fetching her laundry? Do they know that we're reading the quests? They probably don't. Any friend of Greymane is a friend of mine. And then she wants us to find her cat. That's enough I, for me I think today. we can kind of assume what the content of that quest will be. And here is the cat. I can't attack that target. I'll be taking this cat. It seems to work as perfect bait. Uh, okay. Oh, she came out and started the fight, and she went worgen for him. Well, that's cool, at least. She was pissed when he grabbed that cat. We had it under control, though. You know what I mean? She's literally running away. Oh, she vanished. Good. Good, good, good. I don't know what that was about. We had it in hand. We know her secret now. I got a bad feeling. There he is. Thank you so much for finding him. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. My, what manner of dirt has found its way underneath my fingernails? Oh, so she doesn't know. It's interesting. Good day. She doesn't know that she turns into a worgen and runs out and kills Forsaken? Okay, well, we're not going to be the ones to explain that to her. We will let her figure that out all by herself. Oh, two of you guys, okay. We're probably going to be just fine. We don't have combo points yet, apparently, because we don't have a spender or a builder. I don't know what we have going on. We only have Shred. So probably not the best thing for us to be doing right now. Let's go ahead and go back to our caster form. I can still feel the lag. Especially compared to classic like there's loot lag. There's quest lag when you take a quest or turn in a quest And yeah, there's just a general sense of lag about the game and you can see that it's not really a, it's not a latency issue on the user end It's all server side I guess if like it's minimal enough today that there's a chance you might not notice if you weren't looking for it But since we've already had such big issues yesterday, I am looking for it and so I am noticing A new player would probably just think the game was slow and like a little broken. Hello. Are we here to give you a hand? That depends on what you want. You guys see the lag, right? My brothers and I can reach Northern Gilneas by boat in a matter of days. As soon as we finish the repairs, that is. Evacuation, you say? Well, we had that very same idea all on our own after these Forsaken started showing up. We were thinking the water would be the safest way out of here. Unfortunately, our boat didn't come out from that last earthquake on scale. I need some additional supplies to finish my repairs. Wood, tar, and my tools. Get them for me so that my brothers and I can make it out of here. 
Okay, and what about everybody else? Those Forsaken ships sank way too close to our fishery. All the survivors are making their way here, and as you can see, we're a bit outnumbered. Yeah, okay, so we can do that. Oh, good spell lag. I got some spell lag going on. That's totally fine. We can do this. So they're just gonna keep running up. We can just literally just stand here and kill them, I guess. We can even just tag a few of them, and if other players kill them, we'll get credit. Like the one the mage is fighting right here, we got credit for him. But he tagged all these guys, so he'll get credit for the ones we fight too. Oh, we've already completed it. <laughs> you need something? Safe travel. All right, let's equip some of our gear, shall we? Not bad. And then we need to go out here and find these pieces of the boat or parts that he needs. Barrel of coal. Oh, hi. Hi, we didn't see you there. Did you just respawn? It seems like you probably just respawned. Well, that's okay. The mage will go in here and grab this. It's not... I think it's... No, no, shit. We're gonna have to wait for it. Well, that's pretty awesome. Pretty happy about that. Oh, it respawns super fast, so I guess it's okay. Not like items in... Uh, not like items in Classic sometimes take a little bit longer to respawn. And then we get to do the same trick here, I guess. Now he has to wait two seconds. Haha, -ha, we showed you. Guess we should loot all these guys. What can I do for you? He gave us a free bag, uh, which we didn't really need because we've got so many bags randomly, but this one has eight slots, so... Escape I see. Thanks for your help. The ship is ready to sail. Now you go and tell Miss Armstead that we're not going to be part of the land evacuation. We Haywards have been men of the sea for generations. If we're to leave our home, then we'll do so by sea. See you around. Quite frankly, I feel like you could be a help in getting other people out, but yeah, we'll go tell her that you're not, you're not playing ball. You're out of here. So as Cat, we get an additional sprint, dash, 60% movement speed increase for 10 seconds. So that's a pretty good thing. We got two dashes already. Get Gabin or get going. It's time for everyone to head to safety. That includes you. Head to Greymane Manor. The others will be there shortly. 
Don't worry about me. I'll make sure that everyone makes it out of here in one piece. Yes, even the few ferals we have in pens. Once you get there, speak to Queen Greymane about the gravity of the situation. Keep your chin up, eh? Let's go have some conversations about gravity. Oh, it's gonna auto-ride us there. We're just... Guys, we're on a horse. And we're making weird noises. I don't know why. But at least we're on a horse. That probably won't happen again for quite some time. Oh, that was the gate. Was that the gate making the noise or us? It's so weird. We were doing a little character animation at the same time that looked like howling. So I guess this is Greymane Manor. The kingdom is not a place, but a people. I've heard much about you. I understand you were crucial in my family's survival during the outbreak in Gilnea City. The King's Observatory. You ought to speak to Gen. He's been locked up in his observatory ever since this ordeal started. I'm sure he's working on a plan for his people. He's a very stubborn individual. The guilty will pay for their crimes. Alright, well let's go talk to the King. It's gonna be all the way up top in his observatory, I guess. Well, okay then. We are level 9 already. It feels really fast. Just out of curiosity. Uh, we have been playing this character for 1 hour, 46 minutes, and 58 seconds. So in, in, in on, under 2 hours, we're almost level 10. Hail, champion. There you are. I've been expecting you. I got word of your recovery and... Wait, do you feel that? Um... Look. Look at what's become of Duskhaven. Look at what's become of the last safe place in Gilneas. What am I looking at? What happened? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Did that just happen? I don't... Well, I guess it's a good thing we got out. Okay. Some ships. Forsaken ships. You have my attention. We have no choice. We must move further inland. I don't like it one bit, but we're vulnerable here. Return to the stables below the manor. Let's get everybody on carriages and send them eastbound. Pray it's not too late. Never let your guard down. All right, yeah, well, let's get out of here if that's what we have to do. Let's, uh, let's hop to it. I'm not sure why we had to talk to him except to see that everything has gone to shit. I guess the town just fell into the ocean. They didn't really do a lot to articulate that, except him saying, did you feel that? Which we didn't. It's one of the few times that the camera hasn't shaken when an event has happened. Uh, I just didn't have the heart to break it to him that we didn't feel anything. The town is irrevocably sunk into the ocean regardless of what we felt. Uh, I guess we're not just jumping over this. That was silly of me to think we could do that. Same thing here, I guess. I'd love to just, like, take some shortcuts here. It's a very, very against me taking any shortcuts. Here we go. Oh, nope, that probably just put us into a hole we're never gonna get out of. Oh, here we go. Alright, here's the carriage. Um, I guess they had carriages but no horses? Is that what the issue was? They had a bunch of these awesome really ornate carriages, like luxury carriages incorporated, but they had no horses to pull them. And these aren't even the horses that we found, so I don't know where the hell these horses came from. Unless they like quickly sprayed the brown horses we found white, then none of this makes sense. These people have impeccable balance up here. Look at this. These guys are amazing. Who's up here? Will lead us to uh, just what regular Watchman and then uh, Lorna is just perfectly balanced up there. It's probably because we're all war gonna have superhuman reflexes, right? That's gotta be what it is. 
Your coin will go along Mary with you. Allen. You're a general goods vendor. I so say you're not a character. Who the hell are you? Just riding shotgun like you're a main character. You're a general goods vendor. Just seeing how long exactly this ride is going to be. Because nothing has happened on it yet. Oh, oh look out. We're under attack. Okay. Are we? I don't see anything, guys. Were we? Can anybody confirm if we were ever actually under attack? You know server lag is shitty when, like, whole events are supposed to happen that then don't even happen? Like, I think a little attack event was supposed to happen there, but it didn't. It happened to this guy instead. He got his shit tipped over. Oh, it's Prince Liam. He's wearing a shirt now. I can't, I can't understand or decide if he's going to be shirtless or what. Our carriage was hit pretty bad, yeah, I'll say. The ogres got two of our stagecoaches. This one and the one that fell into the marsh just north of here. I want you to head there and rescue any survivors while we hatch a plan to deal with these ogres. Oh, okay. So we're not getting evacuated? Oops, we targeted the wrong one there for a second. Uh, we had to just fight the things that they are fighting and that is going to be what rescues them? Okay, yeah. So, in other words, just go fight stuff. Understood. And look, we get to share credit with other players, uh, just by us tagging it or them tagging it, they also get credit. So now there's just really no reason to ever group up. And there's subsequently no reason to not group up. Wait. Oh shit. I forgot that we were even able to pick up skinning. And this guy must have it too, because I think he's skinning some of their bodies. Yeah, he is. What a jerk. It's going to be like, oh, we're not getting credit for any of these. I guess I'd have to actually tag the right ones. That would help. I forgot that we were so easily able to pick up skinning from the trainer right away. Totally slipped my mind. Alright, we've got all that we need. Let's just skin whatever is not going to get skinned by these guys. There we go. For my people. The Forsaken are right on our heels, and now these ogres are trying to flank us. They're servants of the Eden Koroth, the meanest, most destructive force in all of Gilneas. If we can bait Koroth into charging the Forsaken's forward force, we should be able to cover our retreat and buy some time. The only way this can work is if we make Koroth furious. It won't be enough to kill his minions. We need to swipe his most prized possession, a tiger-skinned banner. Kill four ogre minions and obtain Koroth's banner. Because we... what would it be if we didn't just have to kill some guys? Why can't we just go get his banner? Like, why do we have to commit murder? Probably just to get up there, we do. Let's stop complaining about it and do what needs to be done. They're ogres. Nobody cares that much. And it's not asking us to kill very many of them, so... Four is not bad. Better than 14. Hey, 
Uh, we did get a new pair of bracers. Yeah, intellect and stamina. Oh yeah, the other thing about gear in retail that I kind of forgot about at low levels especially, you see how that has that plus two agility that's grayed out there. That's important. Because if we switch to a spec that needs agility, it will change the stats on this item from having two intellect and two stamina to having two agility and two stamina. And the intellect will be grayed out. And that was a change to prevent people from having to wear multiple sets of gear, so... It'll allow us to switch between agility-based specs and intellect-based specs a little bit easier. We would have to still change our trinkets and rings, is that right? There are a couple pieces that don't stat swap, and I believe it's trinkets and rings, but I could be totally wrong about that at this point. Oh look! Oh, we just missed him. Oh, we don't even have to kill him. We just need his banner. Well, they killed him, so... Oh. Alright, cool. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll hang out here, guys. See you later. I hope this comes back, like, before he does. Alright, that's done. Glad we didn't have to wait very long. These people obviously have mounts. Ouch. Do we have mounts? Yeah, we do. But we're probably not going to use it. I don't know what gave me access to this achievement, Heir Heir Heirloom Hoarder. Maybe because I had heirloom items at one point on a character? So we could like totally use this. Um, apparently we can just have this because of something I completed on a different character. That is very interesting. So we are level 7 and we have a mount. Just in time, friend. Here come the Forsaken. Our carriage drivers were told to regroup in the fishing town of Storm Glen. Our scouts report that there might be shelter and supplies to be found. It feels like he's busy doing an event for somebody else. Let's just get out of there. Yeah, but look at this. Now we're all the same idiot running around with our chauffeured um, motorcycle driven by Bruce Wayne. So, there you go. How badass do we feel? Not very, I'll tell you that. I feel like I've been given something for nothing. But the game tells me that I did something at some point to deserve this, so... Here we are. Making our life a little bit less painful by taking advantage of it. We'll get him out to level 20 anyway. Which apparently is only a couple hours away. If our current progress is to be believed. I got a bad feeling. It's good to see you made it. It looks like almost everybody did. We're not doing too bad for an emergency evacuation. Well, what do you know? All this time and Stormglen's been left mostly intact. It's too bad the Forsaken are still working their way inland, but it'll make a fine place to rest our feet for a night or two. The other half of the town is overrun with spiders, so I've asked the villagers to stay away from there. Perhaps you'd like to lend a hand in clearing out the spiders, hmm? I'm certain our injured men and women will sleep more soundly knowing someone is keeping those eight-legged beasts away. Good day. There's always something. I just wonder why it had to be spiders. What is it? I found a journal by a man named Bradshaw. Unfortunately, it's missing many pages, especially towards the end. If you find enough pages, I might be able to piece together what happened here after the curse broke out. Who knows? Maybe the people in town found a way out. Maybe there are still survivors out here. Maybe my father is still alive. Well, I would not count on that were I you, but uh, it's possible. I think this is going to be an okay place for us to take a break. It is an inn. It does seem cozy. Um, we can just get some rested experience here, and when we come back, we will take on the spiders, and we will hopefully find um, some old journal pages. So we will see how that goes, and yeah, it's been very interesting. It's a very interesting way to compare classic and retail. Um, obviously, the games are very different. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and as always, I appreciate you guys being here. The support means a lot to me. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.